Coming up in this episode of Sailing Gemini, we leave Tobamori and head north to Malig, where the famous Harry Potter Hogwarts train stops. We go exploring and Helen decides that she's not drinking no more Guinness. Good morning. It is Tuesday the 2nd of May. Uh, it's 20 past 11 and today we are planning on leaving Tobamori just here. Just here in the marina. Just there. And we are going to head north. We were going to go to Isla Rum, but the weather doesn't suit us to get back to the mainland to catch a train. So we're going to head north, uh, up the coast, past Muck and Egg, two of the places where we wanted to st stop at, and then Rum's just over here. And we're going to go directly up to Malik. Yeah, and then in the Malik. There doesn't seem to be any main dangers on the way, but. You just have to be careful, obviously, coming into Malig Harbour here with uh, the commercial traffic and stuff around. So you need to make a radio call before you approach. Um, yeah, the trip's going to be about 31 and a half miles. So we're looking at doing it in about seven hours, hopefully. Um, and it should be a good seal because we'll have the wind from the southwest at about six to ten knots or something like that. So it shouldn't be too bad. It should be a nice seal. And I'll give you another update through the seal. Goodbye. Sim space. So we've just left Tobamori now and we got off the pontoon not too bad. The guy gave us a bit of a push and just put the back end ranked. There was a bit too much going on to try and camera it to be honest. So we're just going up the going out of the fairway now and we're gonna get the main seal up, uh, get round the headland and then get the head seal out and get the engine off hopefully. Big brilliant to get a good seal in today. We've been here for three days now, so we're ready to go for it. Like, hi, just a quick update. So, we've been uh, how long have we out now, Helen? Uh, about two hours, about two hours at 6.9 knots. And yes, we are motor sailing. And <laughs> what's it like? It was blowing 12 knots when we left, literally 10 minutes into your seal. The wind went back to zero, unbelievable. Um, so we're just going around the Arda Merchant, Arda Merchant Point at the minute. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but it's a beautiful place, absolutely stunning. And there's all islands in the distance, like Muck and Rum and stuff like that. Um, we also found out how to fix Helsey, the auto helm. I went downstairs and hit it with a spoon. The, uh, the gyro, it's been sticking all this time and we thought it was just going north so just a little tap and it went so I think I'm going to have to find out how to service it but at least we got it back on again and Heldy's back working so we're about an hour and a half outside Mali and we're just having a wee cup of tea I've uh, started drinking these cumin teas that you get in Fort Aventura, they're absolutely beautiful with turmeric in it, just lovely really good for the soul you know <laughs> is that just a normal coffee? This is all normal coffee! Yeah, so we're not that far outside Malik at the minute. We just phoned in. We're gonna, because it's only for one night, we're just gonna go straight onto the marina because it's only like 240 a metre. It's it's cheap. And then showers and stuff, sir, as well. We need to get food to do this for the next few days. So, yeah, straight into the marina, I think. Why are you laughing? She's always laughing at her, she's not right in the head. We're still motors, we're still motor sailing. Uh, yeah, 5.5 knots. So it's not too bad, but the wind shifted around a little bit before, but it just wasn't worth getting the head sail out, it just came swung back around again, so we'll give that a miss. You can tell it's a very nice day and we're motor sailing. There's Helen's up the front there. I think she's on holiday, lying on top of the tender boat, look. She won't go up there if it's a little bit bumpy, you see, but that's good. And we're not far off now. That's Isle of Muck and Rum in the background, and Eye of the Sky over there.
So we've just arrived in Molig and we've had our best uh, arrival yet, I think. There was no cursing or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of that one, Helen? That was very good. Was it good? Yes. And I think the fenders are perfect, I'd just like to say. Oh, right, okay. I'm going to check now. <laughs> just go and check out, see how good it is. It's lovely here tonight. Obviously, there's no wind. Um, but yeah. Basically, straight in through here, and straight under the pontoon, and then, 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 Malik lifeboat, beast of a thing, absolute whopper. Well, hopefully, they don't get a shout uh, with us right, being right behind, <laughs> and we'll be blown back. We'll see the fishing boats firing their engines up in the morning, and then all of a sudden, the lifeboat fires up as well. And we're in between both of them. That won't be good. So, yeah, there is smaller pontoons that we probably could have been on as well, but he did say go on any pontoon. So we did. <laughs> and that's that. We're in Malik. Woohoo! Just watching TV and this big bad boy and he pulled in beside us and thought we were getting run over. You can't really probably see it. It's a big massive boat, but I don't know where he's going. He's all over the show. It's absolutely crazy. He doesn't know what port and starboard is at the minute. Crazy. And this is the beautiful village of Malink, where we weren't even meant to be. We are meant to be in Rum now, but it is really nice actually. And if you can see, it's a beautiful little place. <laughs> um, we're going now to review the local Guinness, of course, because we forgot to do a few, and some places didn't have Guinness. So, we'll have the drink tenants <laughs> instead. <laughs> yeah, so, that's it, we're in Malik. So we're here at the uh, in Malik, ready to taste the Guinness. Here we go! Cheers. Cheers, babe. Oh. <laughs> that was terrible. That's even more watery than poor Patrick at that. That's why I just got a half. Oh, I have to drink the rest of this now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even getting raided. It's not getting raided. No, it's you just, should just sit to the tenants. The tenants has been lovely so far, but we wanted to try Guinness the whole way around, so... It's not happening. I'm not drinking any more Guinness after today. <laughs> so, David is getting a scooter out for the first time of the trip. Are you excited? Yep. And tell them why you're getting your scooter out, Dave. Because <laughs> I'm going up the hill to find Wi-Fi. Because <laughs> we've been trying to upload our first video now for four days. <laughs> four days. <laughs> And it keeps on cancelling, so I'm going to take this scooter all the way up there. I'm also going to check the sound as well. Went up there just to have a little look. Okay. See if it's settled down a bit. And then I'm going to come back and go for a pint. Right, well, be careful, David. Don't exceed the speed limit, will you? Thursday, 4th of May, and we're in Malig again. We were hoping to go to Sky today, but thanks to the very unpredictable Scottish winds, we are spending another night in Malig. So, perfect opportunity to get some jobs done. So, I've varnished the door that leads into the bedroom, which I'm not going to show you right now because it's a bit of a mess. So, we decided to get a door fitted before we left, just to give us more privacy and make it a bit cosier. Um, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think I'll probably give her another coat after that one dries. And also, another job we got done today was spice racks. Look at that. Proper little kitchen. So yeah, so hopefully we'll be going tomorrow, but we don't know. So we'll keep you informed. Bye. So I'm just gonna make some uh, salmon fish cakes for dinner tonight. And salmon fish cakes is really easy to make on board and taste absolutely lovely. So you can keep like your 
where you can buy your tinned salmon and stuff like that in and have it in all the time. Um, it's basically all you need, tinned salmon, like one big potato fluffed up, uh, knob of butter, spring onions, uh, I put turmeric and spices and stuff in the mine, you don't have to, some lemon juice, um, and a couple of spoonfuls of mayonnaise, and that's the mixer. So all you're going to do is basically combine all that together and let it rest, uh, make them into patties, just let them rest for a couple of hours, and then when you come back, you just egg wash them in the breadcrumbs into the frying pan about four minutes on each side. So I'll come back to that soon. Just going to get this a good mix now. Bye! So after you've uh, made them into balls, all you want to do is squeeze them together, just wet your hands and make them into little patties. And that's what they look like. Beautiful. And all you want to do now is cover them up with tin uh, cling film, put them in the fridge for a couple of hours, and then you're ready to go. So we're just about to start the Malig circular walk and the sun's out at the minute <laughs> and it could, get, it could piss down any minute as well. <laughs> Off we go! Go go! I'm out of breath here already. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, it's really clammy, it's a bit warm today here in Malig with its tropical climate. <laughs> It's coronation day as well, Bo. It's coronation day? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, coronation day. What are you doing? And we're going for a walk. It's yeah, it's quite noisy up the hill, isn't it? It's so quiet and peaceful, there's no one else out on the paths today. Because of the king's coronation. Oh. Where's the wee birdie? Oh, there he is there. You can't see him in the GoPro. Oh. <laughs> so we've just got to the top of the hill and look at this for a view. It is absolutely beautiful. All we can smell at the minute is burnt heather. They decided to burn all this the other night and it went out of control and the wind picked up obviously. So it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's quite lucky because there's only houses just down here. It's just beautiful isn't it? So I'd just like to mention that um, on board your boat you need to have a slow cooker because you can slow cook your stuff and then when you're out on anchorage you can just reheat it and stuff like that. So when you're in, in the marinas, get your slow cooker on straight away and get your meat braised or curries or whatever you're making. And also as well, just like the same with the curries, it is nice making your own curry uh, with obviously a pastel and mortar and all your spices and stuff, but these ones here very good because you get a spice pack and stuff inside it with all your sauces and you can have it hot medium or whatever mild if you, whatever way you like it and these packets of rice are really good and they're cheap as well so you can just slice them into the pan and some naan bread and rice and curry and stuff like that with it but yeah slow cooker and it doesn't put out much power either as well it's about 150 or something like that so you can run it on your inverter easily if you did, if you did want to use it on nine creeks or something but uh, this absolutely smells lovely at the minute. Oh, yummy beef, slow cooked beef curry. I cannot wait to try it. It's only lovely. Hiya. So it's time to leave Malik. We've been here, well, we left the boat here for four weeks because we had to go home um, for hospital appointments and see kids and stuff like that. Um, but the harbour people here in Malik, what's the staff really like? Good. The really, staff really, really good. The staff are really good. Yeah. And the harbour man, Chris, as well, brilliant to deal with and, you know, very, very helpful. So, we tapped to the boat while we were away. And yeah, made sure the boat was okay in yeah. the morns. And the morns is reasonably priced. If you do want to leave your boat here for a month, I think it's about £300 for the four weeks. And they give you a really good, safe mooring. And all you do is come over by tender boat and you can leave your tender in a safe place as well. So we're off now. We've actually we're going to go back in ourselves, aren't we? Yeah. We did say we're not going to go back the way. You know, we're going to keep pushing north because we want to get round. But obviously, we we'll want to go to Kenna, um, with all the beautiful tortoise waters and stuff. And then we're going to go out the bar where the beach landing is. So we're going back on ourselves from Malik. But never mind. But the weather's just the weather's amazing. Stunning, as you can so we'll say. have to just go for it now. You know. So that's about it. See you soon. Nice.
Good, Thank yeah. No wind around to mess us up, is there? <laughs> Get that sea. See ya. Hello. <laughs> Can't wait to get out of here. Bye bye, Malik. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so that's the end of episode six. I hope you enjoyed it. And there's also like to say thank you because we were not expecting, were we? No. To have 500 not. subscribers, well, over 500 not, subscribers yeah. by now. We're quite shocked when it went up to that. And how many hours of watching? Watch time? Yeah, we've got over a thousand hours watch time as well, which, which is, is amazing. Crazy. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's good. So the other thing I wanted to say as well was um, on the west coast of Scotland, um, a lot of the few of the videos is coming up. There's a lot of motor sailing. But there's been no wind in the UK now for like five weeks properly because of the low pressure that's hanging over and there's a massive heat wave as well. Except for today, because it's just started. <laughs> Raining! <laughs> um, yeah, so at the minute, where are we, Helen? We are in Thurzo. Thurzo, yeah. which is Scrabster. Scrabster Harbour and Thurzo. Yeah. yeah, so we're right north now yeah. at the minute. We've done most of the west coast of Scotland. And our plan is to try and get up into the Orkneys now with complete change of plan. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna go for it. So we've got a fuel leak at the minute, and we'll have an engineer coming tomorrow to see if he can fix it, and then we can get going, and that'd be amazing. So if you've liked the videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And it's free to subscribe. And please subscribe. <laughs> get us up to a thousand. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.